the previous video, we looked at how to develop a business process flow and we saw it in Natch. In this video, we look at some of the properties of business process flow. So first of all, to use a business process flow for an entity, you need to enable it for that entity. So to enable it for an entity, what we need to do is go to the default solution. Once the default solution is opened up, go to the entities and open the properties of the entity on which you want to uh, enable the business process. Let's say that I want to enable it for an entity called teacher. That's a custom entity which I just created. So I'm opening the uh, entity properties of this entity. Okay. So now these are the list of uh, properties of that entity. Okay. So if you want to enable business process flows for this entity, that is teachers, all you need to do is you need to enable this box. Okay. That is business process flows. Once you do that, a field will be created for that uh, entity. Okay. So uh, go ahead and save it. Okay. So once uh, you've enabled the business process flows for an entity, you cannot disable it again. Okay. The only option is to like delete this entity and create the entity all over again if you want to remove business process flows for an entity. So there should be a lot of uh, consideration while enabling the business process flows for an entity because we cannot disable it again once we've enabled it. Now if I go to the fields of this entity, there will be three fields which is added to the list of fields. Okay, so the three fields are the process ID, stage ID and traverse path. Okay, so these are used by the business process flows. So in order to use business process flows for an entity, we need to make sure that it is enabled. As far as the uh, system entities for which the business process flows is already enabled are concerned, these are the list of uh, entities for which the uh, business process flows is enabled. Account, appointment, campaign, contact, etc. Okay. Business process flows also has security roles related to it. So, if I go to one of the business process flows which I just created, this time I'm just going through the processes and then uh, I'm opening up the process which is business process flow of contact. Now, for this business process flow which we created in the previous video, we can enable security rules. So what I mean by that is, first let me click on this edit security rules. You can configure for each security role, that is account manager, activity feeds, business manager, etc. Uh, the security permissions for this business process flow, whether they can create it, read it, write it, etc. To do that, open the uh, security role for which you want to configure. So I'm opening up the account manager and then go to the business process flow tab. And then look for the uh, business process flow for which you want to configure the security permissions minus business process flow of contact. Right now, people with uh, the account manager security role cannot do anything in this business process flow. Cannot create it, read it, write it, delete it, append, append. Okay, so uh, you need to give permissions for them. So now let me go ahead and uh, configure the uh, security permissions of this business process. Okay, so if I enable create, then that means it will allow creating an instance of the business process flow, which is done at the same time as creating a new record. Then read. Read will allow viewing the business process flow on the created record. Write. Write will allow updating the business process flow. Okay. For example, you can change the state or navigation. Delete. As the name indicates, it will allow deleting an instance 
such as when a record is deleted. Append and append to. Append and append to will uh, work together. So uh, it allows cross entity navigation from an entity. Okay. For example, now um, this business process flow, that is the lead business process flow, right? It uh, it goes from one entity to the other. As the name indicates, it travels from the lead entity to the opportunity. Okay. So to allow that, you need to have the append and uh, append to security permissions. Append is, it allows cross entity navigation from an entity. For example, the lead entity in the uh, lead to opportunity sales process, business process. And then the append to is the other way around. It allows cross entity navigation to an entity. For example, the opportunity entity in the lead to opportunity sales business process. Okay, so uh, these uh, are the different uh, security privileges which you can give for each uh, business process. Okay, so uh, it is important that you configure the security permissions for the uh, business process. So let me go ahead and save and close it. So yeah, that is how you configure security rules for a business process. Now, since I'm a system administrator, I have access to all the uh, business process flow by default. That is why I'm able to see this uh, business process flow. One last point about the uh, business process flow is that you can create business process flow such that it can move from one entity to the other. Okay. So what I mean by that is now if I create a new lead record, then let me uh, give a name first. Let's business process flow for it and then I'm saving it and then right now it is in the uh, qualify stage so I can move to the develop stage by just clicking on next stage or if I click on qualify so when I click on qualify or uh, click on next stage over here what will happen is automatically it will, uh, the business process flow will redirect you to the opportunity page Okay, so it will take the data from uh, this uh, record, that is this lead record, Nikhil Rajendran, and it will pre-populate it in a new opportunity record. So it will allow, uh, bus I mean, business process flows will allow you from moving from one entity to the other, if you want to. So let me click on qualify, see what happens. See that right now it is the lead entity. See what happens if I click on qualify. You see that the tab automatically changed the opportunities in the left hand side and you'll see that I'm uh, redirected to the opportunity page. So an opportunity record is created based out of the data from the uh, lead record. Okay. So from here uh, you can move on uh, to the uh, next stage if you want to the proposed stage that is by completing the development stage. Okay. So it allows cross entity navigation. Which brings me to the final point, which is the limitations of the business process rules. So each entity can have only 10 activated business process rules. So right now in this opportunity entity, I have the lead to opportunity sales process. I can actually change it to a different business process flow if I want. So to do that, all I need to do is click on more commands. Click on process and just click on switch process and then if you have more than one business process flow then you'll have the list of business process flows and you can choose any one of them okay so um, the, the that is a point about business process flows you can have more than one business process flow for each entity but the point is they need to be activated so that you can However, there can only be 10 activated business process flows for each entity. Okay, there cannot be anything more than that. Each business process flow can contain a maximum of 30 stages. And finally, multi entity processes, like for example, our lead to uh, opportunity business process flow, can contain only a maximum of 5 entities. It cannot contain more than that. 
So these are the limitations of business process flows.